Hello and welcome to part 6 of this tutorial. In this part I'd like to show you how to machine the plaque. On the right hand side in the project pane are the tool paths. If I click on the tool paths a new box at the bottom will open up showing all the different icons for tool paths toolpath operations, 2D toolpaths, 3D toolpaths and simulation. On this particular example what I'm going to do is to do a machine relief so I'll click on 3D toolpaths and the machine relief icon. I'll just move this onto the project pane. Under the area to machine I could have the whole relief it to machine or I could change it to automatic boundary or I could select the vectors within which the machining will take place. For this example I'm going to use automatic boundary and I will create an offset of let's say minus 5mm. This will make sure that the cutter will stay within the plaque as I don't want it to come over the edge and cut the piece out. So for finishing options I will choose a 1.5 ball nose cutter and I'll change the clearance strategy to 3D offset spiral. The tolerance is a little bit tight I'll change that to 0 0.05 2 fab and the roughing options I'll select 12mm M mil. Now I need to click this arrow to give me a drop down menu showing the parameters for the tool. As you can see the step down is 12mm. If you take a look just here the Z is minus 12.5 so I need to see how deep it is on the inside of the plaque so at the moment it's minus 6.85 the actual step down is 12 so it will not machine inside there so I'll change the step down to say 2.5 and then I'll click to define material it will automatically default to the top and it will have my material thickness set as a default value so I'll just OK that as I want it to be at the top and then it will show the material on the screen and if I come down and click calculate now which is here wait for this to calculate So there we have our finished toolpath for the machine relief. I'll close the machine relief dialog box and I'll open up the toolpaths and turn this light bulb off so it turns off the toolpaths. If I go back onto my 2D view, now I'm going to do some V-bit carving to create on the rocks text. 
So I'll click on Create VBit Carving Toolpath. Selected vectors, and I'll select my vectors. And then for the carving tool, I'll select a 6mm small VBit, 90 degree. Material thickness is still set, and then I'll click Calculate now. There I have my tool paths for the VBIT carving. The only thing wrong with this is that it's set to a maximum depth of 0.662 from the zero on the Z plane. But I want it to actually project onto this banner, which is a 3D object. So the way to get around this is if I close my VBIT carving and select it from the tool paths then go to transform tool paths here it says drop tool or project tool so what I want to do is project the tool onto a relief make sure that it's selected here and then click project onto relief now this has pasted the tool path on top of the relief which is what we want so I'll close my transform tool path dialog box Another way that I could have produced the lettering on the banner is to actually create it on the relief and then do smart engraving. What I'm going to show you is a new feature which allows you to extend the tool path beyond the material. Let me just add a tool. So if I add my VBIT 6mm 90 degree again, I'm not going to actually produce this tool path but I just want to show you this. If I select do corner sharpening and then extend above start depth, I could set that to be say 5mm. What this does is it extends the tool path past the material. This would be useful if you had a piece of material that was not flat and you set your zero at one point but there was another point that was say plus 0.5 so I'll close this smart engraving and all that needs to be done now is to cut the piece out so I'll zoom out and here we have the outside shape I've produced this by doing a create boundary from relief and I'll select create profile tool path selected vectors I want on, so I'll select my vector, which is the outside, profiling tool, I'll select 12mm mm and select that. I won't add any leading or lead out moves. The material fitness is already set. Do this in two cuts, so I change that to 6mm and click calculate now. If I go back onto my 3D view, there you can see the two passes to cut the piece out. So I'll close my profiling tool and zoom out just a touch. Now if I click on tool paths, right click and then click simulate all tool paths, it will bring up this dialog box asking me simulation relief resolution. I can have fast standard, high detail or custom for this I'll just keep it at standard so simulate toolpath and then we have toolpath simulating so this is the rough now it's doing finishing 3D spiral the machine relief
So there's finished the 3D machine relief, done the V-bit engraving, and there it's cutting the final piece out. And there we have the finished piece. Zoom in a little bit. You can also add tabs to the final profile and cut if you wish. But now I'm going to show you how to actually save these toolpaths to NC code so you can send them to your machine to cut. So what I'll do is with the toolpath selected, go into save toolpaths and then this dialog box pops up which has got all of my operations on it. That one's already moved over which is the profile M mil, 12 mil. I'll move that back over and then they're all in the right order. So I have my M mil, 12 mil roughing. I can move that over and then select the machine. If I select say an axis metric machine, select that and then click save go to desktop. I'll save this as 12mm rough I can also add all of these toolpaths make sure they're in the correct order and I can select an axis multi-tool and then save that as well in exactly the same way so I'll close this I'll minimize this there we have our NC file I'll double click on that and there we have the NC code ready to send to the machine thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it was useful and I'll see you next time bye